Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Fiona at Drawings in a Drawer and on here we discuss everything watercolour and everything artsy really. So if that is something that might interest you, be sure to click on that notification bell and you will not miss any of my uploads. So today we are going to be talking about art block and how to fix it. How do you stay inspired and where do you look for inspiration to begin with? What to do when lack of motivation sets in? I have all the answers based on my own experience, so let's dive right into it. Also, before we start, I really wanted to thank for all the love and comments and like that you left on my videos last week and the week before. It really helps me so much to keep going and to keep editing and filming all this. It really makes it so much easier. So thank you very much. and finding motivation started to be a little bit of a challenge for me a little after I had first started painting with watercolour and I had started to see the first improvements and the first results. I uh, suddenly expected things to start growing really fast and to start snowballing but that did not happen. In fact, I hit a plateau and it took me quite a while to realize that I was stuck in a rut of painting the same kind of painting, the same kind of subject and then the same kind of style and very often on the same kind of paper. And does that ring any bells? I'm sure some of you feel that they are in the same position or they have been or might find themselves in a similar position in the future. Now what I want to say that we are our harshest judges. There is not one person out there, not even an art critique, who'd come to us and say something negative about our art that would hinder us and block us as much as our own self-negative talk. So let's try and be curious and not critical. 99.9% .9 of the time we don't have art block. It's our own negative talk inside our head that's stopping us from creating art. something new whether that's new paper or a different kind of paper to what you're used to or different brushes but to me what was groundbreaking and also inexpensive was just experimenting with new watercolour textures dry brush strokes creating etching within my washes by using the back of my handle using a credit card or any kind of supermarket card to scrape out the washes and patterns from your watercolour paintings and this is something that you can go back and incorporate into what you've been painting up till now. So you won't have lost anything, you will have enriched what you've been working upon up till now with new elements that can now become part of your style. Thank you. 
yourself your own custom made limited palette. As you can see, I have this one and it has become my go-to palette. I take it everywhere I go because I know at the end of the day, anything I want to paint, I can use this palette for. I only need a cadmium red light, a nipples yellow and a cerulean blue and I can start off any painting. It stops the distraction of reaching for some other color that's already made. It teaches you more about color theory and it overall makes you more creative rather than less creative, which is what you think, but it doesn't. It makes you think outside the box. Before we talk about the next thing that helps me get out of my art block, this little owl is making me think about our live painting session that I had on my patron with my members of the Lunar Black tier. Every month we get together and have a paint along and two days ago we painted a barn owl. It was so much fun and to get access to this all you need to do is join my Lunar Black tier in the patrons and that's $12 a month or you can join the Cadmium Red Light one at $7 a month and get immediate access to all my full-length narrated tutorials. But now let's move on to what what else inspires me and what gets me out of my art block. Now this might not apply to everyone, but for me it's looking back on my childhood. As a child I spent most of my time drawing and writing stories and I loved fairy tale books. I had this collection of fairy tale books that you could get in the UK, you could get it in Italy, so I had a bit of both and each story was illustrated by a different illustrator. I wish I could pay justice to them all by saying their names, but there's hundreds of them throughout this collection of fairy tales and also Alan Lee's work that he did about the fairy world and he was one of the illustrators that worked on The Lord of the Rings as well. And I think these still have a strong influence in my life today. In my art, of course. And you can see me leaping through those books now. that inspires me so much is music and what inspired this piece is the song Strawberry Fields Forever by the Beatles and I was listening to it and the other night I heard that line that says living is easy with eyes closed misunderstanding all you see and it inspired me to paint this woman with or a girl with strawberries over her eyes but I don't want this painting to have like a negative emotion about it. I actually am thinking about the power of imagination and the power of dreams. And yes, sometimes the lyrics in music will inspire me to paint something. In fact, it's happened more than once. And the last thing to get you out of your art lock are these Collier Pearl Color Handmade Gold and Silver Paints. They weren't sent to me. This is not sponsored. These are the best gold and silver paints I have come along. They're so pigmented and they just add that touch of magic. Remember to check out my Patreon down below. Remember to check out my Skillshare and I will see you next week. Thank you for liking and commenting and please share if you think someone else might enjoy this. Bye for now. <laughs>